that's Ns9 here, and I'll do a little review for you. Here we go. I've uh, ordered a CD player, a compact disc player, a little portable one, and I haven't had one of these for years. And the situation is, if you do like your music, you find a lot of iTunes music and stuff that you download, the quality is not actually fantastic. You can never really beat a disc. Well, your flat files, I guess. But um, I've got a lot of soundtracks for films that I really like, and I wanted to hear them crystal clear. Now, although this unit does have some headphones in there, I do actually have a pair of the Sony uh, WX005s, whatever they're called, a pair of these. I do have some of these, which are top-end headphones. So I thought plugging that to a CD player with my CD music would be fantastic. It's presented very well. It's got a, a rechargeable battery built into it by the looks of it. Uh, right, are you ready? I'm going to open it up and see what it's like. Are you ready? Da -la 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 -la. <laughs> Everything falls out. Uh, da -la 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 -la. There you go. So I keep looking down there and looking at my monitor so I can see what I'm doing. We got ourselves instruction manual. A nice little, little envelope with some funky stickers. We have the CD player. Comes a nice little case. So look what it's like. You ready? You're going to be the first to see it. Quite nice, isn't it? The wood effect. There you go. So, first of all, it's got little rubber feet, so they're expecting you to put it down. Uh, in their advert, it does say good for cars. I mean, it's funny how we don't have cassette players. CD players are now disappearing in cars. Um, you have to remember that you still can't beat quality straight off a disc, it's like 4K films. I'm a, big, I'm a big person that's my 4K movies. You can download them, but you're always going to get artifacts. Uh, but you can't beat a disc. That's what I'm thinking with this. So that's what it's looking like now. Includes the KLIM Fusion best-selling headphones, or earphones, should we say. But they'll be earbuds. I also have the Sony WX002s or whatever headphone e earbuds, the ones that we charge in a little container. I seem to have misplaced them in here somewhere. I can't find them. So what it is, they give you some wired earbuds, because once again, as soon as you use a wireless signal for anything, you start to lose uh, small amounts of uh, information. I used to work at HMV, and I was a head of technology, and the best way I could say to people about sound quality or picture quality is if you've got a great a great setup but you're you're failing the last area like headphones and earbuds if if you imagine the, the artist who created that music has put all that work into it and then you're listening through a pair of 999 gummies you're not going to get the quality you'll get a gist of what's going on radio quality but you're not going to get it the best way of putting it is we don't have to see a the Mona Lisa, right? And then somebody went and got a big piece of glass that was dirty, been out in the rain, and they put it in front of the Mona Lisa, and then you stand and look at it. You can see it, it's there, but you, you're not seeing it in detail. You're not seeing that bit, the magic. <laughs> so that's what it is with CDs, music, video. I love my video files, I love my audio files, but I like to hear it how it was meant to be. So that's why I've gone for this. So we've also got 3.5mm, 3.5mm jack. Always useful. And we've got our, that's becoming a, a tradition of everything I get. Uh, we've got our USB-C. We've got about three quarters of a meter USB-C to use on it. Let's plug this in. Let's open it. Open, it's got an open button on the side. Right, there we go. 
take out the piece of CAD that's been protecting the lens and let's put a bit of power into it there we go, got power in there now it's charging away and we get a CD okay so I'm a big fan of uh, composed music instruments uh, and I really like Howard Shaw's music for films he does for Cronenberg so I find that every single piece of music he does is different you look at Lord of the Rings then compare it to Crash you wouldn't think it's the same composer but it is so here we've got uh, my special edition copy of Crash from the, from the, 90, from the 1996 film oh, I'll put that there here we go how it's meant to be heard in a CD player. Right, first off, it's in there good. Closes up nice. Should we, should we, should we try their headphones first? Because this is what you'll get. Now these headphones I actually like because already, first off, they've got a cover on the tip. Very nice, you never really get that nowadays. And with this, they want you to keep the cable hidden away and they've got a magnet so they can clip around your neck when you're not using them. I've always liked those as well. And I've only ever listened to that with Monster Copper Turbines with my wired headphones that I used to use. And they're like, what, 300, 300, 400 pound, 400 pound, 300 pounds, Monster Copper Turbines. They're all what I used for everything. I'm supposed to get a lifetime guarantee of them. Then the company changed. Guarantee didn't work. That sucked. So let's have a look. Go right and left. Let's get them in the right ears. And once again, you always make sure that you've got the correct tips on your headphones. It's good because these ones are fine for me already. Excellent. So let's see. Let's turn it on. Right. So the volume button's down here. All right. Let's have a little listen. Right, let's try and see if they've got settings on here. EQ, extra bass, pop, jazz, rock, classical. Now, I always find, before you shouting now, that to leave it neutral, because the EQ changes it, but the music's put on the disc to be at the, the, sort of the standard level. Stop that. So, thing is, I'm too used to very good headphones, you know, I, I, I don't, basically, I've used top-end headphones since I worked at HMV Head of Technology, I was selling headphones, I went on courses for headphones, you wouldn't catch me with a pair of uh, gummies in my ears. So, they're not fantastic headphones, I must say, earbuds. Um, but let's find out if it translates to let's get let's get the big boys out. So these are the Sony's. I'll put a link to those as well, so you can find them. So I'm going to be using the Sony's cable. As I say, I could Bluetooth to them, but. Uh, you can never, you can never go wrong with your data going straight to the source. Everyone's trying to go Wi-Fi, but really, when it comes to this sort of thing, if you're in the studio, you wouldn't see people using wireless headphones. Trust me. So now we're using the big boys. Let's find out. So. Go to the EQ. No. Pop, no. Jazz. No. Rock. I'm listening for fingers on instruments. That's when you know you've got good good input. Yeah, that was nice. I can safely say the quality is really good. Um, so coming off the disc straight into headphones via these is really good. But I am. I am hearing a high pitched buzz. 
which I can't work out. So let me just it's buzz in. I wonder if I can I wonder if I can do it for you. Here we go. I'm gonna take my microphone off. Right, I'm gonna put you inside my ear, please. Can you hear that? I put a remastered disc in and a standard disc in. Both discs gave me artifacts. I've converted both these discs into iTunes and used the MP3s and not had the, 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 the buzzing in the background. Could it be the fact that I'm using a radio mic and I have lights that the frequency is interfering with this? I'll only know once I've tried it in a different location. But at this time, I'll say, for normal folk who want to listen to CDs the old-fashioned way, this is perfect. It also has a little area for your, your memory card. Should we find out where that is? It takes a little micro, little micro two card, just there. Can you see that? Well, one thing we didn't try, we didn't try the um, the bounce effect. Does it jump? You know, like back something about when I was at school. See, I had a cassette player, then I had a CD player, but I then moved along to mini discs, and I still use them now because they are actually so far they're probably the flawless, the perfect, to be quite honest. Right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pretend we're on a bus. <laughs> Hopefully, it won't the lens won't put a circle on my disc. The buzzing's still there. Right. Doesn't jump. Well, I'll be damned. That's cool. They finally fixed that. I wonder if it's reading slightly ahead. It's buffing. Hmm, conflictions, conflictions, hey? Where do we go with this? Where do we go with this? So we can safely say, if you're a bog standard person who wants to listen to bog standard music and you use CDs still, then this is great. Uh, because uh, you put your CD in it and it, it doesn't jump when you listen to your music. Uh, I've tried the same CD a digitally remastered recent version of Howard Shaw's Crash and I have the standard edition of uh, Howard Shaw's Crash from 96 that I bought at that time so they both sounded exactly the same when I used the official 3.5 mil jack 3.5 mil jack into the Sony's the WX bloody blood blads fives um, when I moved this, I lost one ear. It... So um, I would suggest using the official, well, not using the official cable with it. Um, it wasn't fantastic. It might just be me. The headphones that came with it, the earbuds, should we say? Um, yeah, they're good. They clip around your neck. The sound quality is decent enough for. Uh, uh, for people who just want to listen to music but if you're wanting to uh, go into the music and get deep in there and really sort of take it seriously then you might want to upgrade those so our five stars um <laughs> this is this is this is the hard bit because if i was joe blogs i would be giving it four or five star amazing as someone who really likes to listen to their instrumental music and classical music and like to hear the woodwind, like to hear them, the details in the music, then I would say I'd give this a three star um, for sound quality. So yeah, three stars for sound quality. 
because I couldn't get rid of the artifacts. Uh, I would give it five star for stability because wow, you can throw it around and you can hear that music. That's fantastic. That is really good. So yeah, it's got everything you hear you need. It will fit in. You can put it in your car, in your glove box, carry it around. It's a little retro. It's fun, isn't it? Let's say for fun side is a five star. Retro side, <laughs> retro CD players. So well, CDs are the eighties, aren't they? Really. Anyway, so Dark Center 9 is going to give it a three star, three and a half star. Might give it a four. I don't want to change my mind, but um, uh, but but it is a fun little thing. I need to put a memory card in it. All right, Dark Center 9 out.